Hello everyone. Welcome to English with Teacher Aziz channel. How are you doing? I hope you are fine. Before starting our new lesson, please click on the subscribe button to get informed with new videos. English grammar. The future perfect simple. Examples. The rule. The form. The spelling changes. The uses of the future perfect simple and the adverbs of time of the future perfect simple. Let's study these examples. One, I will have finished my work by the weekend. Two, she will have cooked dinner by nine o'clock. Three, you'll have studied the English tenses by the end of the weekend. Four, he will not have arrived by night. The form of the future perfect simple. The future perfect simple is made from subject plus will have plus past participle. And in the past participle, we have two types of verbs. The first one are called regular verbs and the second ones are called irregular verbs. Concerning regular verbs are verbs that finish with ed, and irregular verbs are exceptions and, and are in the third column of irregular verbs. The affirmative form I, you, we, and they will have played. He, she, and it will have played. So as you can see, we don't change anything here. And this is concerning regular and concerning irregular verbs. For example, here we have speak. The past participle of it is spoken, which means we can say I, you, we, and they will have spoken. And he, she, and it will have spoken. Two, the negative form. I, we, you, and they would not have played. He, she, and it will not have played. And the same thing can be said about irregular verbs. We can say, I, you, we, and they will not have spoken. He, she, and it will not have spoken. The interrogative form. Will I, will we, will you, or will they have played? Will he, will she, will it have played? Or, in the case of irregular verbs, we can say, Will I, will you, and will they have spoken? Will he, will she, or will it have spoken? The spelling changes in the past participle of regular verbs. Spelling rule 1. Regular verbs ending in a silent E take D. For example, 
close closed use used leave leaved spelling rule number two verbs ending with double e we add d for example agree agreed spelling rule three verbs ending with a consonant preceded by a vowel we double the consonant for example stop stopped shop shopped chat chatted so in the first example stop the last letter is p which is a consonant and it's preceded by a vowel which means before it we have a vowel o so we double the p and we add ed in the second example the last letter is p and before it we have an o so we double the p and we add ed the same thing can be said about chat the last letter is t and before it we have an a so we double the t and we add ed spelling rule four if the verb ends with a consonant plus y change the y to an i and add ed for example cry cried marry married study studied in the first example cry the last letter is y and before it we have an r which is a consonant so we change y to i and we add ed in the second example again the last letter is y and before it we have an r which is a consonant so we change y to i and we add ed in the last example the last letter is y and before it we have a d which is a consonant so we change y to i then we add ed spin rule number five if the verb ends with a vowel plus y we just add ed For example, play, played, sway, swayed, pray, prayed. So in the first example, the last letter is Y. The same thing can be said about example number two and example number three. And before them, we have an A, which is a vowel. So when we change that into the past simple or into the past participle we just add ed when do we use the future perfect simple one to talk about an action that will finish before a certain time in the future for example by seven o'clock tomorrow i will have finished my exercises two to talk about an action that will be completed before another event takes place for example she will have learned english before she moves to london
Three, to express conviction that something happened in the near past. For example, the kids will have been at home by now. What are the adverbs of time of future perfect simple? By the weekend. By next week. By the end of the year. By now. By seven o'clock. By the time. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. You can share my videos too. See you with another video.